find Bryce Harper. Yo, what is going on, everybody? Welcome to the Phillies Hotel Video Cast. To recap and last night's game between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Chicago Cubs, as the Phillies defeat the Cubs by a full score of 15 to 10, as Bryce Harper collects a five-hit night, ladies and gentlemen, and Andrew McCutcheon hits a grand slam. Off of former Philly Jake Arrieta, who just got completely rocked last night. Now, guys, before getting this video, please subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Please don't forget your bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. What a great way to uh, take the second game of the series. I will say this. I mean, this is not really a feel-good win, right? Uh, this bullpen still is just a joke. I mean, seriously. I mean, you score 15 runs and allow 10. I mean, 9% uh, of the time, if you're going to allow 10 runs, you're going to lose. Uh, but luckily, the offense came alive last night for the second straight day as we pushed, all, pushed across double-digit runs uh, the first time since 2015 since we've done that back-to-back -back games. It was at Yankee Stadium, um, so back in 2015, right? So it's been a little while here now, six years. It was in June of 2015. Able to break that little drought. Um, so pick up the scoring summary. Top of the first inning, Jake Arrieta on the mound for the Cubs. And he just got completely rocked in this one. Uh, so Chicago Wind helped this ball carry out as Andrew McCutcheon hits a grand slam to right center field to score Segura, Muto, and Bryce. And the Phillies now take a 4 to nothing lead. That was Cutcher's 14th home run of the season. Um, so the Chicago Wind definitely helped that ball carry out. I did not think that was ball was gone off the bat. It wasn't a terrible pitch from Jake Arrieta. I believe that was a singer that just caught way too much of the plate. Um, but uh, the win definitely helped. 4 nothing Phillies. Um, so uh, they're so an old friend, Jake Arrieta, how it's done, right? I mean, Jake Arrieta has just not worked out with the Cubs. There's just no question about that. He has not been very good for them. Um, so uh, then in top of the second inning, Gene Segura singles on a sharp line drive to left field. Travis Jankowski scores, and uh, he wouldn't have scored because Jock Peterson totally bobbled the ball out in left field. And that allowed Segura to advance up to second. Um, so down is a fielding error on Jock Peterson. And it's now 5 nothing fills. Uh, so the uh, Cubs defense, yet again, especially in the first game of the series, uh, has continued to come back and haunt them. Um, so it did again last night. Uh, this time out in left field by Jock Peterson. You know, Jake Arrieta, you know, he gets pretty upset with his teammates. So I'm sure that he was shaking his head right there at uh, Jock Peterson. Uh, then this evening, Reese Hoskins double zoning fly ball to center field. It, it was a little dunker that just uh, happened to fall in there, and uh, Ian Happ tried whatever he could to try to catch it. Went out of the glove. You saw the diving attempt that he made, and Gene Segura and Jay Tumuto came around to score. So that's now a seven to nothing Phillies lead. And uh, shortly after that, that would end Jake Arrieta's night. Um, so another just treacherous outing for Jake Arrieta. Um, so uh, now it's a six three O ERA, ladies and gentlemen. Six three O ERA. He is. Just been terrible for the Cubs after starting the season with a uh, 2 5 7 ERA and five starts. Uh, he has been treacherous since then, uh, so ERA now climbs in the upper sixes. Um, so, absolutely just insane. And uh, Reese Hoskins, a good night for Reese. I mean, everybody in this lineup, I mean, uh, one for four. I mean, Bryce had a great night. I mean, five hits. Um, you know, Gene Segura, you know, doing his job. I mean, he was Hoskins, you know, hitting another home run his 20th of the season. You saw this RBI double that he got, too. So, uh, great job out of the Phil's bats last night. Uh, then in, in the bottom of the third inning, the Cubs get on the board. As Jack Peterson doubles on a sharp line drive to right field, Sergio Antantra comes around to score, and it's now a 7-1 to one ball game. So, the Cubs get on the board off of Aaron Ola. Aaron Ola is just so inconsistent, right? I mean, I understand we gave him this ginormous lead. Uh, but he's just so inconsistent. He goes on a stretch where, you know, he strikes up five straight. Uh, and then he just goes out and he doesn't execute his pitch as well. He lets the breaking ball catch way too much of the plate. The changeup was not there last night at all. That was one pitch I just did not like. Uh, then it's saving to Chris Bryant. Singles on a sharp line drive to left field. Uh, Odorita comes around to score. It's now a 7-2 ball game. So the Cubs get a little bit closer. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, this was just not a very good inning for Aaron Nola. Uh, then it's same inning, Javier Baez. This is sacrificed by two center field. Jack Peterson comes around to score, and it's now a 7-3 ball game. So at this point, I mean, you're up 7-0, and now it's just a four-run ball game. I mean, I, mean, this is, I mean, this is the problem with this team. It's now just a four-run ball game. And thankfully, the offense was able to come through last night. We have a seven nothing lead like that. You can't be allowing these these kind of things to happen. I mean, I, I will say that. And so with the fourth inning, Bryce Harper lines up all the right field to get stuck in the ivy. Went down as a ground with all we saw Hayward 
put up his hands, and Gene Tagore was a only able to score on that. Uh, JT Uto definitely would have scored easily. Saw he was rounding third. So that would have been a two-run double. Nevertheless, I mean, it was still an RBI for Bryce. Um, so it's now an 8-3 to three Phillies lead. Um, but uh, like I said before, JT definitely would have scored on that. Uh, but uh, boy, boy, Bryce, I mean, a great night for Bryce last night. Five hits. Um, so you just love to see that. Then the same inning, Reese Hoskins, a fundamental baseball. It's a fact of ice fly to right field. JT Mito comes around to score. And it's now a 9-3 to three Phillies lead. So we're starting to get some of these runs right back, right? I mean, you saw Arnola there in the bottom third inning starting to give up some runs on the Cubs to come back in the ball game. This is what the offense does. It, it gets these runs right back. Um, so Reese Hoskins doing his job right there. Then above a sixth inning, Javier Baez gets a hold of one on a fly ball. Two left center field. His 20th of the season. Doing a bat flip when your team's down this many runs. I just don't get it. It's now a 9-4 to four ball game. So uh, we allow the Cubs to come right back in the game again. I understand this is only one run. Uh, but I'm gonna, I said it before, I'm going to say it again. I mean, still this pitching. I, I tell you what, I mean, it's still not great. Uh, I mean, it was great in the first game of the series. Um, not so great last night. It was off of Aaron Nola, who just was not fantastic last night. Then the top of seventh inning, uh, we get this run right back as Reese Hoskins hits his 20th home run on a fly ball to left center field. Um, so you got good wood on that ball. I mean, he crushed that ball. That was a no doubter. It hit off the, uh, the scoreboard out there. He saw a dent of the scoreboard, so two players... And absolute nukes, uh, both for their 20th home run of the season, right? I mean, Javier got his 20th, and then Reese got his 20th. Um, so the Phillies got their run right back, and they get their sixth run lead right back. It's now a 10-4 ball game. Uh, then uh, Gene Segura singles on his sharp line drive to left field. Alec Bowman and Travis Jankowski come around to score. It's now a 12-4 ball game. At that point, I'm thinking, like, okay, I feel pretty good at, at this point. I do. Um, so uh, just uh, Gene Segura, he's a hit machine, right? I mean, uh, he is just a hit machine. That just was the nail on the coffin. This at this point of all, I knew it was over as Bryce Harper. It wasn't a solo home run. It was not a solo home run. As he homers on a fly ball to right field, Brad Miller and Gene Segura come around to score a three-run homer. Not a solo homer. Bryce is 15th of the season, and it's now 15 to four ball game. Um, so finally, we all knew it would happen eventually in the 83rd game of the season. Bryce Harper finally hits a home run with uh, people on base. I mean, he probably would have done it at the beginning of the season. Um, and we all know he saw, sat out that week uh, you know, against, my, uh, against the Milwaukee Brewers, and we swept them out, and then he was placed on the IL. So, I mean, uh, you have to keep that in mind, too. But, yeah, I mean, it's not like he's only played 10 games. I mean, uh, it's about time he did it with a guy on base. That's how you get your RBI total up, right? I mean, uh, hitting homers with when there's guys on base. Um, so, love to see that advice. And that was not a cheap home run either. Um, so um, there's no question Chicago win definitely helped. Um, so it's game over when that wind's blowing out like that, man. I mean, it's game over. Um, so uh, Bryce absolutely crushed that ball. Didn't bump the seventh inning. Uh, we have Bailey Falter, who did just, he faltered last night. Uh, no, no pun intended. I mean, he was just not very good last night. Didn't cost the Phils the ball game, but he was not very good. As Jock Peterson singles on the line, drive to right field. Jake Marisnik comes around to score. It's now a 15-5 to ball game. Uh, then the same inning, Javier Baez does it again, ladies and gentlemen. His second one of the game and 21st on the year as he homers on a 5 out to center field. A two-run shot also scores Jock Peterson, and it's now a 15-7 ball game. Um, so, uh, and the thing I don't really like about this guy, I, I, you guys know I'm not a big fan of the bat flips. When your team's down this kind of runs, I mean, you don't do that. Uh, it's just, it's silly. It, looked, it makes you look like a fool. Uh, when you stare at your homers and flip the bat, I mean, the like, team's getting crushed, and then you're, you're flipping the bat. I just don't get it. Then in the eighth inning, Ian Happ uh, doubles on a sharp line drive to left field. Jason Hayward comes around and scores now a 15 to 8 ball game. So this is the problem. And this could have been a laugh. If it was a you know 15 to 4 final score, it would have been like, ha ha ha, second straight day. We absolutely crushed you guys. But the problem is, is if we let them come back in the ball game a little bit, and it wasn't a laugher. This was not a laugher. And this is not a feel-good win because this bullpen is still horrendous. It's so bad. It is, this bullpen is still terrible. So Billy Falter, not a very good night last night. Uh, then uh, Jen, Jen Jake Remistic uh, hits a sacrifice fly to center field. Ian Happ comes around to score. It's now 15-9 ball game. And then Hector comes in and gets the final out. Uh, then in the bottom of the ninth inning, uh, they're going to get another one. It's Robinson Carrillo. Somers on a fly ball to center field. That was off of L&D Los Santos. And it's now 15-10 ball game. And that would be your final score. A, a lot of runs scored in this ball game. 25 runs. Uh, as the Phillies uh, win, um, so win the second game of series, as they're, they're at least going to split the series now. 
and hopefully win with Zach Lee on the bump tonight. So uh, how about this? Gene Segura, the four-hit night last night. Unbelievable. Bryce Harper with a five-hit night last night. Not named an all-star, right? He's not an all-star. I mean, give me a break. I mean, you're gonna, you mean to tell me that a 914 OPS is not all-star worthy? I and mean, you're out of your mind if you don't think that's all-star worthy. You're out of your mind. I mean, that's reason. 15 homers, 30 RBIs, which I think is a little low, right? Uh, but uh, with a 282 batting average, you're telling me that that's not all-star worthy. You're out of your mind if you don't think that's all-star worthy. A 914 OPS. I mean, this, these are all-star numbers, and he deserves to be in the all-star game. Now, you saw the article that Jim Salisbury came out with that uh, he wouldn't have went anyway. I mean, I think that's probably true. I mean, you know, he's been having the little back soreness. Uh, you know, he's an all-or-nothing guy. So I think, you know, five days of rest for Bryce Harper is not a bad thing. I, I, think, that's, I think that's good. I think he does need some rest. Um, you know, this could really help the Phillies in the second half. A healthy Bryce Harper could really, really help the Phillies in the second half. I mean, getting these days of rest, that would be huge. That would be huge, especially since we're not really having any days off here and there uh, until the All-Star break. Oh, uh, it's good to know that. So, I mean, that's that's probably going to rule out the fact that he won't be the replacement for Schwarber. Um, but, you know, it's fine. I mean, uh, you, know, you know, honestly, like, All-Star games, like, people don't really pay attention. I mean, it's just like, you know, he had an All-Star year in 2019. He wasn't named an All-Star. I think having the All-Star game in the middle of the season is kind of silly anyway. But Andrew Kutchen uh, with a grand slam uh, off of Jake Arrieta. It was his only hit of the ball game, but it was a big one. And uh, Reese Hoskins also with a three, and I just made the four RBIs, which you just love to see. Uh, but Alec Bum and Dieter Gregorius, a rough 0 for 5. Um, so that was really just tough to see. But uh, also Travis Gronkowski, a guy that has a tremendous amount of see. He lets off, I don't know why, I, just, I think it's just because of hair. He lets off a little Mickey Morandini vibes. I don't know why I, I don't, uh, you know, friend of the pod, Mickey Morandini. I don't know why. I think he just, uh, I think the hair reminds me a little bit of Mickey Morandini. <laughs> Um, but uh, I don't know. I just he kind of left off uh, Mickey Morandini vibes. Uh, and then take a look at Aaron Noel's start: uh, six innings, six hits, four and all four earned, one walk in each strike. That's the thing. He didn't really look that great last night. He struck out eight. That is the problem, right? I mean, he, the inconsistencies with Aaron Noel are insane. Are insane. This guy is just one of the most inconsistent players I think I've ever seen. Uh, well, I think Reese Hoskins is. Uh, surpasses that in that category, but uh, Aaron Noah definitely inconsistent. He's in, inconsistent in the game. Like I said before, it's, you know, his curveball catching way too much of the plate, um, and at a changeup, it was nowhere to be seen last night. So uh, you could chalk it up as an all right outing for Noah. Does get the win now, six and five in the year. He didn't really pitch that well though. And uh, Bailey Falter, a disaster last night, giving up five earned runs in just an inning and two thirds of work. Uh, six hits was not good. I mean, this was not good. You could just chalk it up as that. Uh, I was very disappointed what we saw to him, and this guy was considered a stud, right? Uh, boy, boy, he was not looking too good last night. But Hector Neris comes in and just records that one out to get us out at that bottom of the eighth inning. And then L.D. Santos gives up that home run in the bottom of the ninth. So this bullpen, I mean, this pitching staff was not good last night. It was not. And uh, we gave him credit in game one because it was a ginormous lead. And then they also have an uh, even more ginormous lead in the second game. And look what they did. Uh, so I think you could say, say the first game was just a fluke. Uh, with that bullpen, but this bullpen is a disaster. I mean, it is just a disgrace. Uh, I, I'm just so tired of this bad bullpen. I mean, it's just like, I, I'm tired of year after year, I'm tired of this bullpen, and uh, I'm tired of Dave Kombrowski just not really doing anything about it. Um, so we got 8 of 5 the first pitch tonight, Wheeler and Mills. Wheeler 6 and 4, they 2 of 5 ERA. Um, so uh, all star bound, and Mills 3 and 2 with a 4 8 5 ERA. So the Nationals lose. Last thing against the Padres. Oh, what a shame, right? I mean, we just hate to see that. LOL. Um, the Marlins, unfortunately, did beat the Dodgers 2-1 to one in 10 innings. And uh, the Mets and Brewers game was postponed. Braves also lost 2-1. to one. Uh, It's a little uh, round the league update. So, you guys, interested watch this video. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Please hit the notification bell. Please like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Check out the social media. Link in the description section. I feel this out. Send Instagram, Tech Drive, Instagram. Call or text 267-225-3292. Email me. PhillyScienceOf at gmail.com. Um, so, Phillies get the win here. Second game of the series as they go for the series win today. 8 5 the first pitch. The ace is actually on the mound. 6 and 4 with a 2 of 5 ERA going against Mills. 3 and 2 with a 4 8 5 ERA. Uh, so, Bryce Harper with a 5 at night. Um, so a great performance uh, offensively for the Phillies last night. I mean, the pitching still was not very good. So you guys, show you what you're watching. I'm Luke, and I'll talk to you later. Let's go, Phil. So I'll see you guys.